So first thing, let's talk about some most popular academic databases that could be helpful for your research needs and also projects assignments. So these are the some of the top academic databases that uh, I recommend. So the first one is the Engineering Village. So it's from the Elsevier, which covers the, the main areas in the ICT, which is also information, communications, and technology. And then the engineering, computer science, the physics, and the robotics areas. And also, next one is the IEEE Explorer. So it stands for the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers Explore Digital Library. So this database mainly covers the areas of electrical engineering and computer science. The third one is the ACM Digital Library. So ACM stands for Association for Computing Machinery. So it's a database mainly uh, about the computer science. And the next one is the Web of Science Academic Database, which covers the science, social science, arts, and humanities subject areas. And the next one is Science Direct, which covers the science, technology, and medicine fields. And next one is a Scopus. So it's a major citation abstract databases. And it co mainly covers the social sciences, medicine, and technology fields. And the final one is called the ProQuest. So this database is um, interdisciplinary, which means that it covers uh, lots of different subject dis uh, disciplines, ranging from the engineering to social sciences. Okay. So next, let's talk about the Boolean operators. And the reason why Boolean operators are important is the, these are the, how the academic databases function in the back end. So the academic databases use these Boolean operators to connect the search keywords together in order to make sure the resulting records reflect these keywords based on the Boolean operators. So the first Boolean operator is called is AND. So the AND Boolean operator adds additional search terms to inform the academic database that all search terms exist together in the results. In another word, that the, any additional keywords must also coexist with the existing keywords. So the AND Boolean operators narrows the search results. So the example here you can see is data and cybersecurity which means that both data and cybersecurity keywords must appear in the search results. And the next op Boolean operator is OR. The OR Boolean operator adds additional search keywords to inform the database that any of the search terms can exist in the results. So which means that either or both of the key terms uh, needs to show up in the resulting documents. So the OR keywords, OR Boolean operators broadens the search results by adding additional search terms. For the example here, you can see is machine or human. So which means that either machine or human or both can appear in the resulting documents. So the next one is NOT. So the NOT, as the, this word uh, indicates that it excludes terms from the search. So this is helpful when you don't want certain keywords to appear. And then you can just use the not operator to exclude that certain keywords from appearing in the search results. And it narrows the search results. The example here you can see here is animal, not cat, which means that the academic database will only search the animal and excluding the cat from the search results. And a final point to note is that the search order here. So the search order here is not, and then end, and finally all, which means that the not is always executed first by the academic databases, and then the end, and finally all. So that's the search order for these three Boolean operators. So the next slide shows a visual diagram of how these three Boolean operators work. So for example, you can see here the end, you can see the peanut button and the jelly, 
the only the central, the overlapping area is graded. So using AND, this search would only retrieve the results with both peanut butter and jelly, which is the grayed out areas. And next is the OR. So using OR, you can see all of the areas, including peanut butter and jelly are grayed. So you can see using OR, this search would retrieve results with peanut butter, with jelly, and with both. And finally, the NOT. So using NOT, you can see only the peanut butter that doesn't have the overlapping area are grayed, grayed out. So using NOT, this search would only retrieve the results with peanut butter and exclude those with jelly or peanut butter with jelly. So this visual diagram can give you a more clear sense of how these three Boolean operators work in the academic databases. So next, let's talk about some effective search strategies that you might find helpful for your as you start searching in the academic databases. So the first step is always to start with the research question, a concrete or another, like a, a very detailed research question. So the example here I give is, how could artificial intelligence be used to prevent drug shortages in Africa? So after you have come up with a research question, the next step is to pull out the most important keywords from the research question. So the example here, you can see the most important keywords are artificial intelligence, the drug shortage, and Africa. And the next, after you have figured out the most important keywords, you can also find additional narrow keywords and broader keywords to help with your search. So the narrow keywords are helpful when you're getting too many search results, which means that you might want to like narrow down your search a little bit more. So the example here, you can find the artificial intelligence can be narrowed down to the machine learning. And then broader keywords are helpful when you're getting too few search results. In other words, you only get a several, a few keywords, a few search results. So that's the time when you might want to expand your searches and the broader keywords can be helpful in this case. So the example here, you can see the drug shortage can be broadened to be the healthcare challenging, some more broad keywords. And remember that as you are searching through the academic databases, remember to collect additional terms as you search because you will encounter some more relevant keywords as you look through the detailed page of the certain documents that can help for for your future searches.